So you wanna know how to make this metallic grid looking effect. Really cool, but very simple to do. It's not actually very complex. So what I'm gonna be showing you today is how to get the main grid effect, all procedurally generated within Blender itself, and then also how to add this sort of grimy texture on top just to give it that little bit more realism and just so it's not completely plain and shiny. You can mix and match these effects with whatever textures you want to create the scrime effect. But let's start off by making a new material. Let's call it something crazy like metal. And we're going to add a texture and a Voronoi texture. This is gonna be the key texture to create our grid effect. Press Control T to create a mapping and texture coordinate node. And we're gonna add a vector bump map. Connect the distance from the Voronoi texture to the height into the bump and then the normal to the normal. Now we're already seeing something happen here, but let's increase the scale just so we can see more. Now this isn't obviously what we're after, but I do think it's a pretty cool effect if we actually invert this and increase the scale. We get this really cool sort of scale uh, texture skin reptile looking effect, which is kind of cool, but obviously not what we're after today. But there you go, a mini tutorial inside another tutorial. Now let's change this to Chebby Chev. And what this is gonna do is give us this grid effect. If we increase the metallic and decrease the roughness, we're gonna get this really cool sort of techno cell effect. If we change 3D to 4D, now we're starting to get there. I mean, we're pretty much almost there. If we decrease the randomness and let's bring the strength down as well, just so it's not too intense. I mean, we're getting a pretty cool looking effect. Kind of looks like a padded cell almost invert that and if we change the scale on the mapping node on the y to two you can actually change the scaling of the grid if we bring the randomness down to zero we get this very uniform looking grid effect and play around with the randomness as much as you want if you want it to have that techno grid effect bring the randomness all the way up then we just change the base color so we can see a bit better what we're doing but yeah if we bring that roughness up we're getting that really intense effect but bring it all the way down and you're there you've got this really cool paneling effect much better i think than the brick texture um because you can kind of it's much more sci-fi depends what you're after of course but i think the sci-fi effect looks much better with the voronoi texture play around with the inverting on the bump and we're there we're done cool you've got your grid effect now how do we add some grime and some dirt well let's remove this texture and we're going to add a noise texture up here connect this to the height of the bump just so we can see what we're doing at first Control T to add a mapping and texture coordinate node. And let's increase the scale. Now this is gonna be the basis for the grime effect. If you increase the detail and the roughness, there we go. Very, very grimy, dirty, scruffy. Ugh, it looks like a horrible bit of layer of grime on top. Now that's great, but how do we, first of all, do it so it's not on the entirety of the surface. We wanna patch it out a bit. So what we're gonna do is add a Musgrave texture. And then we're going to add a color mix RGB. We're gonna connect the noise texture into the color two, and then the mapping node directly into color one. So what we're doing is saying to use the value of nothing and combine it with the value of the noise texture underneath. And we're gonna use the Musgrave texture to tell it how to separate it. So if we plug that into the factor and just connect the vector up there and let's plug it into the height so we can see what we're doing. Immediately you'll see, there we go. If we change mix here to add, there we go. We can see that the Musgrave texture is influencing where the noise texture is showing up and where it isn't. So play around with the settings on your Musgrave texture to, it's up to you really here, how patchy you want it to be. If you want it to be blobs of it, um, change the detail, the dimension, just to spread it out. If you want it to be more of like a thin layer of sprayed dirt or grime or you want it to be blobs of it it's completely up to you now if we want to have a bit greater control we can add a color ramp in between the musgrave texture and the mix texture and just on that white value bring that down to a dark gray black and that will just make the effect much more subtle and look like the there's a thin layer of grime on top as opposed to just this thick blanket. The more subtle you can be with these textures, the more realistic it can look and more subliminal. It just works so much better in my opinion. Now all we have to do is just add this on top of the metal panel we've done below. So we just duplicate this add shader, plug that into the top and our Voronoi texture into the bottom. And there we go. What we can do is add an invert texture in between here so we can control the invert of the bump 
and the noise and the paneling all separately. And we're done. The grime is on top of the paneling. And you'll see if we add a cube and add the same texture, it immediately procedurally generates this all appropriately. It works really, really nicely. And that's it. We're done. If you enjoyed this video and it was helpful, please do consider subscribing. That does help me out. Give the video a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video.